Hello, this is another um, clock radio video. Sorry it's been a while. I've been really busy. I have my son's 10 months old, so I basically have no time to myself. This is the newest member of the collection. I just bought this today for $1.49 at the thrift store. This is a unique one to my collection because it is a Bardo. Never heard of this brand name before. Maybe somebody has some insight to this. This is a Bardo. I don't know why this is not focusing. Bardo clock radio. Here's a sort pan out of it. It's got a blue fluorescent display, AM FM tuning, and uh, it's got some unique features. I've never seen one of this, and that's why I snagged it up. All right, here's the top of it. It says AM FM. That is actually metal, by the way. Um, wood grain uh, top compete with what looks like a cigarette burn. That's obviously from the previous owner. I don't smoke. Um, let's go from a Here's the volume knob, AM, FM, radio buzzer, auto, auto off, on. It's a single alarm. <clears throat> this on the left here is actually the rheostat for the uh, vacuum fluorescent display. It goes all the way down, all the way up, and has infinite settings. Um, standard snooze button, sleep, alarm off, and alarm slash off. You can just hit that, and then it'll... Uh, Wait till the next day to turn back on. You set, and even though the characters are backwards, in my opinion, you think fast forward and uh, forward, slow and fast. There's actually forward. It does not go backwards. Let's take a look at the base of it here. Let me get this to focus. This, this is a Bardo model G-7902. Um, there's no markings of what store. It just says it was made in Hong Kong. I have no idea who sold this or when it was sold. Uh, it says it takes one DC 9 volt plus two 1.5 volt AA batteries for backup. And when I open this up, this is kind of ironic. Look at that vintage of batteries. It shows, maybe gives a showing of how old this thing is. I haven't seen an Energizer battery look like that in a very long time. I don't even know if they've leaked. I really haven't been uh, kind of afraid to check. So, um, here's the a little red tabby here to pull that and get that out but I'll deal with that uh, I'll deal with that later probably off camera um, it's got the uh, seems like for an off-brand clock radio this thing is pretty well built it's got some weight to it um, tuning knob uh, it's got an earphone jack which is a nice feature if you use one of these uh, you use it at work you know put your headphones on listen to tunes um, there's nothing on the other side um, Let's turn it on here. Let me turn the volume down because it really is 12:16 at night. This is what time I have to make a video. Um, doesn't light up. If it did or did not in the past, I don't know. Let's turn it on. I don't know why this thing's not focusing. I don't know. It's got a very nice tonal quality to it. Um, let's turn it off here. Now for the alarm, it's kind of weird. I'm going to set the alarm ahead here. 15, 16, 17. I'm going to set the alarm here and I'm going to set it to buzzer because anybody knows what the radio sounds like. Um, when it goes to the time, now I have it set for uh, the alarm I have set for 17, so we'll go there. So for the time, if I put it to 17, ah, it actually worked this time. It went to 17. There's the alarm sound. We'll shut that off. So that's pretty annoying and that's with the volume all the way down. So it um, seems like a very solid piece. I was very, very surprised because I've never, ever, ever heard of Bardo. Never. I mean, I don't know if any who sold it, where it was sold, if it was even sold in this country. But it seems like a pretty solid piece of equipment um, for a clock radio, that is. I mean, they're not, I don't know how much it costs, where it was purchased, how old it was. But it seems pretty decent. Uh, it should be a nice uh, addition to the collection here. So, um... Yeah, if anybody knows where Bardo is uh, actually from, I'd love to hear it in a comment. Um, so this is the newest one. I have another one it's a, that I just bought also. It's a Lloyd's. I'll have to do a video. And then I have a few more. I have a few in my collection. I haven't even plugged in yet. I haven't had time. I got those yard sailing earlier in the summer. So uh, thank you to everybody who does watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. It's nice to have some people who appreciate older equipment like this, older radios, because a lot of the new stuff is, is one of my... Uh, one of the people I like on the YouTube is uh, UXW Bill Black Plastic Crap. 
and that's what it is. So uh, the new stuff that is. So thank you all very much, and see you next time.